what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate And ladies and welcome to Scorch. I am your host, Shade Bernard. Just want to check a couple of things real quick. Probably sit down a little. Uh, yeah. Subtitles? Nope. nope. Subtitles. Thank you. There we go. Now let's get ready to play. I know nothing about this game. I think this is another free to play game that I downloaded. I'm really not sure. G to pick up the phone. Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last week. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man, Mike Hill, was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Mm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'll do my best. Awesome. So, we're a detective, and we have to solve this case in a day, and apparently, stereotypical uh, drunk detectiveness. What's that every detective is some type of drunk. I mean, not every detective, but like every like story detective is always like some type of forest ranger perished in deadly fire. Okay. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. Oh, I can look at that whenever I want. Okay, cool. Interesting. A gasoline can, and it's almost empty. I mean, should you really be picking up the evidence? I mean, just picking it up all willy nilly. I take the axe. Sharp axe. Cool. We have an axe now. So at least we're not unarmed. The hand grabby motions are kind of weird, but okay. At least we can turn the lights on, that's kind of nice. Oh, there's more than one set. Okay, that one's just got one. Okay, yeah, that's neat. Nothing in the bathroom? No. A gun here. Can't take that, I guess. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Okay, so there's a map. Just hmm, cytoxin. Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pill? Huh. Okay. I think these coffee mugs were just recently used. Okay. in that box. Okay. Matches. Hmm. Why is there a matchbox lying here? There's matches. To Jason from Mike. An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. I mean, is it really so odd? I've got tons of action figures. You have three new messages. Hey, Mike. How are you? I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed, please. Pardon? Hello, Michael. It's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Hill. I've got a lot to lose here. That sounds like motive, whoever that is. Maybe it's her? 
Crouch. No. Looks like there wasn't really anything in the fridge. These are oh, some pizzas. What do we got? We got Rice crispy Treats and noodles. Like actual brand name stuff. That's actually kind of interesting. Most, uh, whenever I play any type of video games, the, they never put actual name brand stuff in the game itself. They always put, like, uh, fake stuff, usually. Stupid kit. Nothing in it. Okay. Huh. Locked door. Okay, then. TV. Nothing on the TV. Close that door behind us. Well, dude burned to death in his shed. I guess they already must have come out and de dealt with the body then? That seems odd. Like, if I'm a detective, you think there'd be, like, police and other people on the scene and stuff like that for me to find all the stuff, but I guess I'm just, like, an after-the-fact detective. Just follow this trail, see where it goes. There's gotta be something out here, right? There's a watchtower. Birds! Alright. Everywhere? What is this? Okay. So, apparently there's a Susan out here. Mushroom plantation? Never seen before? Ah, so the mushrooms, I think, might be, um, like, shrooms, like the drugs. Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. I wonder, what did he observe with those? I don't know. What are mushrooms about? That was a well done letter. I have to say that most games, like whenever you to help you. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. sure. Go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? He'll had traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. <laughs> huh. Some mushrooms. Yeah. This is strange, yeah, like, just having these out here. They, to me, I would assume that with all this, and with, like, this person telling him, like, you know, mind your own business, blah, 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 more than likely, she's growing hallucinogenic mushrooms, which are narcotic. And illegal. Because they're drugs. So... Is there anything we can do with like our inventory here? Notify the Drug Enforcement Administration. Yeah. Is there like a way I can like? Okay, so we do have those. Okay, so I guess that's us, Gary Prince. So we found matches, some other stuff. But I don't think there's enough evidence for us to do anything with yet. 
But we have the autopsy report. So apparently he was beaten. So we have to find object that he was beaten with. Coffee mugs. Recently used. So it was him and somebody else in his house. So we have possible suspects. We have the Susan, uh, the other park ranger. I still don't have a positive ID on like which one of these people is him. I'm assuming she is Susan. So he's either, I'm assuming it's him because these two seem very close. She said you saw us. So I'm assuming it's these two. And then he's the one that got hurt. Or got murdered, rather. Yeah. And maybe that friend of his that we didn't get to see. Mm, oh, yeah. Yummy. Did we just eat the lasagna? <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's a third coffee mug there, so possibly that there is more than one person here. But I'm only seeing two plates, so I'm not sure. That door upstairs is locked. Maybe I can put the axe on the door. There's got to be some way to open that door. There's got to be a key around here somewhere. I didn't see a key though. Broken base. How did this base break? And why is it still lying here? Now, I hope I don't waste my time with this. I didn't even notice that face before. Did I just walk past that or was that like... There. So we're going to listen to the answering machine and stuff. You shut up. <laughs> well, apparently there's music in this game, so I mean, it's cool, I guess. Anything in the garbage that's interesting? I thought I saw something. No, that just closes it. Okay. Key. Well, look what I found here. A key. <laughs> God. <sighs> Damn allergies. <laughs> but, uh... Probably just use that key upstairs, then. Yep. I sure did it. Mountainside High School Class Reunion. Okay. Now, why would Mike put this in the bin? Maybe he wasn't interested in going? What do we got here? Business card? Needs to be from Mike's therapist. Now, what is this? Some sort of secret password? Two, three, four. It's for some type of lockbox or something? Got here. Nothing. Or nothing. Or nothing. Okay. Interesting. Put the password to his computer. Oops. One, two, three, four. Dude, really? That is... First off, why do you need to write that down when it's so simple? And two, really, you're going to use that as your password? All right. At least lunchbox. This lunch will blow your mind. Okay. Cool. This is from Jessica Mountainside High School, 25 year union. Okay. Kyle Rogers, new ranger equipment. Union pictures. 
Okay, Jessica, we missed you at the party. Maybe we'll see you next time. Jason seemed like he wanted to tell you something. Anyways, I attached a photo of us. Hope you're well, Jessica. Okay. Schedule changes. Alright, I couldn't reach you on the phone. First, I'll have to remind you your position. I could fire you anytime. Don't do anything rash. You can consider your options. It isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone, Susan. Yeah, that's incriminating. I highly feel that Susan killed him. High school. Broken action Man. figure. This thing is ancient. David and Jane Parker. Funeral services for David and Jane Parker were held in November 1987, something p.m. Chapel, Mr. Parker, was away in a tragic house fire. David and Jane were survived by their parents and three siblings and their 13 year old son, Jason Parker. I didn't want this. Well, why did Mike keep this? Hello, Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I've got everything under control here, alright? It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least try. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look, I... I was supposed to fire you immediately. My God. I respect you, Price. You're a good officer. So please don't make me regret my decision. Alright, okay. Just let me go do my job. Seriously, lady. Constantly calling him, like, every five minutes. Like, how do you expect him to get his fucking job done if you call him every five goddamn minutes? Ridiculous. Absolutely obnoxious. Jason Parker. Okay. Yeah. That's strange. You're gonna regret this. This looks like an old high school memory. Huh. That's interesting. Apparently he's holding on a very old grudge. How old was that reunion? Like, 25 years? Like, dude, let it go. Whatever it is, just let it go. Unless, like, he accidentally killed his parents or something like that. Figures to Jason from Mike. Broken action figure. Same action figure. Don't those have anything to do with each other? I mean, I'm sure they do. Got the yearbook, the obituary that all kind of goes together. Got a newspaper about how he burned to death. Got the gasoline can. This invitation. Business card seems to be from Mike's therapist. That could be connected with the obituary, possibly. I don't know what the vase is going on with. We'll just kind of put that over here. Matches definitely go with that. Don't know what's going on with these. Coffee mugs or the axe, exactly. So, but he definitely saw something with the binoculars and the mushrooms, so, let's try and call what's her name. Oh, no, I don't know any of this. Okay. No, I'm not ready. I don't quite piece it all together yet. I'm sure there's something here that I'm missing. I had, like... I don't know, some like fingerprints and forensics and other stuff. This would be a little bit easier. But I mean, no, I don't have a forensics team or anything else like that out here. That'd be really helpful, just saying. I'm just go trudging through the woods at random here. 
Maybe we'll just run across something out here. Mushrooms. Use this mushroom spot. Man, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. Okay, so I can't just go random off willy nilly, so. I feel like there's something I'm missing, though. Man, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back and to yeah, the path. Yeah, yeah. Got it, I got it. So, I don't think I missed anything at the watchtower over here. No? Okay. I'm really not sure. Like, I feel like I'm missing something, though. Check a little bit more thoroughly around the house. Just kind of ignored like what was around the house rather than what was in the house itself. And a lot easier to do my do my job here if um, like like I said, if I had forensics or if I don't know, everybody didn't just come in and like fuck up the crime scene, take away the body and everything else. Like, how is the detective supposed to do their job if all the stuff to detect is gone? That's why you don't fuck with the crime scene. Okay. It's antidepressants. I wonder what led the okay. victim to take antidepressants. I guess this is all that we have here. That which leads back to the road. There's a gun here, but it was never used. So, I still can't interact with that. I feel like I'm missing something here. There's some piece of this that I'm missing. This was a first aid box. It had nothing in it. Don't know. I guess really our only option here. Oh, Mike, nice one. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have to call her and see what happens. Sure. It's Gary. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's hear it. First question Did you find out how Mike died? So I'm assuming it was probably like axe. They hit him with it, and then they set him on fire. Oh no, because the vase was broken. It wasn't the axe? It was the vase. It was the broken vase. They hit him with the head with the vase, and then they set him on fire. Okay, I see. But what happened in the hours before the murder? Okay. Um. Oh shit, I don't know. I want to say, like... Probably the invitation. We're gonna go with the coffee mugs. And... Action figure?
That's my guess. I don't know. There's got to be more to it than that. With the logbook. Yeah, we'll do the logbook, the caps, and the binoculars. I'm not convinced yet. Who do you suspect to be the murderer? Susan? Hmm, I'm not 100% sure about this I think that this was one. her name. But, well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? Okay, so we have the obituary and, uh... I guess I'll do the yearbook. I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? Okay, so we got the broken action figure. Um. I'll say this. The business card. Just guessing here. The connections you're drawing today seem random at best. But come back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look into it. Okay. Eh? <laughs> I probably did that wrong. I'm pretty sure I didn't collect all the evidence, but. I don't know. I mean, it would have been a lot easier if I could have just been like, oh, I think Susan's the killer. Because she has motive and all that. For Listen, Chief. I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope, but then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least, that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So, I picked up a vase, oh. and I kept hitting him, and hitting him, until he was lying on the floor. Once I'd realized what I'd done, oh. I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. Yeah, okay, so my score on that was bad. Um, I did find 17 pieces of evidence, though. You didn't though. meet my expectations today. I am disappointed. Get your things and clean up your office. Okay, well, to be fair, everything pointed towards Susan with, like, the emails and all that. It didn't actually really point directly at him. I guess I wasn't really paying enough attention. I thought that... I don't know. I thought that Susan killed him, not the high school guy. I guess he burned down the high school guy's parents' house. I thought that like that was his own parents' house that burned down. Oh well. I mean, at least we know the ending, so at least it didn't hold that back from us. So... Either way, I thought that was a good game. It was well, it was well written. Um, I would have liked a little bit more interaction as far as like evidence and stuff went. But um, like I mean, they could have even done like fingerprinting and other stuff like that. Like it just seemed very out of order for a, how the these usually work. So I don't know. But either way, I thought it was a really good game. I believe this is free on the Steam store, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below that way you guys can play this. I liked it.
It was simple, even though I did bad at it. But like I said, I thought that uh, Susan, the other park ranger who was growing the mushrooms, was, uh, you know, doing something illegal. I thought she was the one that might have killed him because if she was growing narcotics, that she'd have motive and she'd have like all the reason to like try and off him, cover it up. But all of like the messages and the emails and stuff like that would have been really sloppy and easily to find. So. I don't know. Hope you guys like this. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see you in the next one. Ta ta.